So this is going to be another uh, another playthrough of gathering hunter medals. These bad boys right here. Um, story is with my with my first playthrough of Mega Man X8, I wasn't particularly happy with how it with how it panned out. You know, I left the grinding for a separate video, and I screwed up my route a little bit. To, um, so that I had to go searching around for Vile for almost an hour and a half. So, basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to do it right. My problem with Vile before was that, you know, I was making changes to the route that I normally use because, you know, there are some differences with these two versions. I mean, not only am I playing with, with uh, cheats, you know, to, to unlock the ultimate armors early, but I was also, but also flying resets in glitch doesn't work on this. So I was, so I was making changes that I didn't think would change things, but ended up actually changing, changing the vile RNG. Well, not RNG, but you know. What I mean. So all in all, I got. I'm this time. I'm gonna follow the route to the letter. And I will get, and it will guarantee that I will get three vile encounters by the time I beat the eight Mavericks. So then we just have to go fight him, fight him one time, which should be guaranteed in Noah's Park. So just to take a look at what we're going to be doing this time, uh, complete the game on normal or higher. It's supposedly actually you can beat it on easy, but easy isn't good. To, easy easy and good, isn't good to do. You don't fight the true final boss there, and I think some, some things in shop are locked out for that. Uh, defeat an enemy using the Nova Strike. Defeat an enemy using X Drive. Defeat an enemy using the Giga Crush. Encounter Vile four times and defeat him before completing Gateway. Upgrade X Zero and Axel to a power rating of 100%. And then a whopping five hidden medals, which would be perform a double attack as Black Zero and White Axle, fight as Alia, Layer, and Pallet, defeat an enemy using the Sigma Blade, encounter and defeat Cutman, and defeat Lumine's second form. So let's get right back into it. All right, now the time to put in the codes. So first off, Ultimate Armor X is left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 right. Did it make the noise? I didn't hear it. Roger. There it is. Okay, I must have missed an input somewhere. Uh, next, I'm just reading the list on Game FAQs. Uh, Palette. Okay, and on the Switch version would be R, B, left, Y, Y. White Axle, uh, Z, L, Z, L, Z, L, Z, R, Z, R, Z, R, Z, L, Z, L, Z, L, Z, R. Black Zero is L, L, R, R, L, 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 L. The Sigma Blade is... Well, there's really no real good name for these guys. L3, L3, R3, L3, L3, R3, L3, L3, R3, L3, L3, R3. L3, 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 R3. L3, L3, R3. Layer is Y, Y, right, B, R. And finally, lay, uh, Alia is down, R, up, L, Y, B, X, A. There's also a code for Cutman, but we don't need it. Let's go. Ready. That was slow.
Oh man, he got up at food time? That's slow. I normally defeat that guy quicker than that, but my shots are a little off. Axel, can you hear me? Can you hear me, everyone? Okay, first fight room. Just stand about here. Shoot the two, shoot the right and middle guy as they come down, and then switch direction to get the, get the guy on the left. Get as much of the money as you can. Um, there's no real change in damage, really. The games are pretty, are pretty, uh, pretty much identical. Zero, can you hear me? My analysis is complete. So bees are going to spawn for a certain amount of time. There should be only 40 of them. I don't think there could be any more than 40, but I guess if you if you let them alone for a while, there could be less. Oops. That's next. Let go of the ch uh, let go of the shot just before it reached full charge, so I didn't get the good the big shot. Try for the dash frame. Nope, got the walk frame again. All right. This boss is pathetic, just stand still, fire full charge shots at him. Level two charge. We're not going to use Ultimate Armor X yet because we need to collect the other armor parts and you can't be Ultimate when you get them. Uh, the route is also going to be a little bit different from the one I was using originally. Uh, this is actually... Uh, this is the route that uh, Nonon X used for his 100% uh, speedrun on PS2. Which is pretty similar to the one I had originally. Uh, it's, it's just a bit cleaner. Yeah, letting that guy back there was not exactly what I wanted, but we can deal with it. Oops.
Uh, thing about damage, though, let me explain something about Black Zero, is that he deals twice as much damage as regular Zero, but he also takes twice as much damage. Your time, crush! Gonna take it easy there. I could have used that on zero, honestly. <laughs> and the double damage thing comes in handy here. These guys normally take two hits to kill, but Black Zero can kill them in one, which makes them very easy to deal with. Just, just kill them as they spawn. Oops, that was kind of silly. But taking that damage on X doesn't matter, because we're going to get healed from this capsule anyway. Let's go for a door switch here. Nope, early. Uh, when you, uh, if you switch characters, the exact frame you touch a door or other like transition type thing, uh, you get the you get the character change without the um, without the little animation. Like it's instantaneous. I did not hit that button. <laughs> I did not hit the button there. The strategy here is to just hit them with air slashes. It's normally four to put a boss into iframes, but Black Zero can do it in two. And uh, normally that fight is a little challenging when you don't have much equipment. Uh, it takes a little. It takes a little uh, practice. So now we're going to go back to the intro stage, get some stuff. Let's do it. Again, there's a capsule we want to get there, so no ultimate yet. Ready. Not that ultimate X would really do much of anything to help us here. Double jump up there to get that dude. Stand in front of this bush. And just swing when they all come down. You'll hit and you'll hit all three of them. This metal over here, we would normally use the flying resetsin glitch to uh, fly over the waterfall there. Uh, you're supposed to have head parts I to break a boulder, so we go we're gonna have to do that later. We're gonna have to come back here. More importantly, we get arm parts I. and quit out. Well, rare if you ne Next is Optic Sunflower, and this time... Got this one. We, we are going to use the ultimate armor. Sunflower. 
because we can't get the capsule in this stage yet. Ready. So the way the stage works is that there's a series of trials. And you're ranked on them by, uh, in this first, in this first stage it's by score, by the amount of enemies you kill. The rest of them are, the rest of them are time-based. So in this one you see my score is red right now, that means I'm doing, uh, below par, I guess is a good way to put it. Par is going to be uh, between 75 and 89, and then above par will be 90. Uh, we only want the um, we only want the middle rank right now. We want between 75 and 89 because uh, because the next trial will have um, an elevator will move, and that takes a little bit of time. So we stop at 80. Make our way to the next room. And so, because the because the because the difficulty doesn't change, the room doesn't move, so we go right in immediately. You see, now I've cleared that one quickly. So this one, the elevator goes down, and we get the harder version of this room. Oops. Yeah, so hard I might fail. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're fine. If you take too long in a room, it will lower you down in difficulty. Hmm, having this a little rough right now. I think I'm going to take this one easy. Get some health back for zero. Oh yeah, that's killing something as with a Nova Strike. <laughs> Spin on that guy. Yeah. Right, and the goal here, I specifically uh, kept my rank low on the first on the first room, because there are two different rewards here, depending on your rank. Uh, there's one for getting all eight top ranks. And there's one for getting between, uh, for getting at least five. So we're gonna get the, uh, at least five one now. I gotta be careful here. There we go. <laughs> Tried for a door switch there. Uh, we're gonna get a heal here. And we're gonna get another rare metal, which will be a sub tank. I'm also gonna collect all this money. This is probably helpful. Uh, the other thing that will happen in this version is if you get all top ranks, if you get all eight, uh, Cutman will appear before before Sunflower. Alright, so Sunflower's random. What we're gonna do here is put him into his uh, angry mode when he loses a quarter of his health. Now I'm gonna pull out X. And do the Nova Strike. Right now, my Nova the Nova Strike did half of 
half of Sunflower's HP. And we can actually make that stronger. Because that's another thing I actually didn't do in my original video. Uh, I, I kept X's uh, damage values the way they were. But Nova Strike actually does more damage depending on how, how much weapon energy you have. So later on, I'm actually going to fill that up. And it's going to do enough damage to uh, leave bosses with 1 HP. Switch back to normal X again for Yeti. Avalanche Yeti. Ready. Now what I was doing there was each character's dash has their own unique, has their own individual cooldown timer. So the quickest way to move would be to dash with one character and then switch to the other and dash with them. That's all I'm doing there. And obviously you can see each character's uh, attacks are different. X has a charge shot while Zero has a wider attack. Which, uh, getting a good a good speed on his shots, like, if you just, just mash like this, it's hard to get the optimal rhythm. So you really need to time your spaces out if you really want to shoot quickly with Zero. But apparently PC doesn't have that problem. The original PC version, at least. I'm not sure about the Steam version. Take it easy over this curve. There's a uh, there's a potential to go out of bounds and die there. <laughs> Take this easy. Go into the lag cave, which doesn't lag anymore. <laughs> I'd like another health drop. You know, they're not going to get it. A uh, cool little tidbit is that if you actually uh, uh, land off a slope. Uh, when you land, your uh, your dash meter is reset. So I've been using, so I was using that there too. Uh -oh. We need X alive. <laughs> Uh, ideally, you can you can defeat that guy before he's before he shoots another uh, set of a set of bike enemies. 
but that's not too bad. So Z to get up here. Use uh, Sunflower's weapon to get rid of that. And this is the Quick Charge. Quick Charge plus uh, Arm Parts I equals Boss Shredder. I'll show you in a minute, but first there's a there's a rare metal I have to get. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, we gotta like just edge this out just a little bit. See what I mean? Uh, you can kind of extend your uh, you can extend your dash a little bit by by doing an attack. But even then, it's kind of tricky. Uh, I wanted to go into this fight as zero, but I mean as X, but I'll just do it after I. Uh, After I get the uh, angry mode. Your turn, I'm actually not sure what's faster right now, but I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use X here. The goal there is to use not the fully charged shot with, but with Buster Parts I, but the uh, level 2 charge. To use that repeatedly on bosses because the iframes in between are very short. Alright, so we are going to... First off, I'm going to do a, just a quick shopping trip. I'm going to buy a Prickle Barrier, at least for later. Uh, get a Life Tank just in case, and also give Zero some health. I think, yeah, I might as well do that now. Next, we're going to go to Earth Rock Tree Lapite. We'll actually use White Axle here. Because I'm going to do a, uh, a little grinding uh, session here as well. Because we have all the tools we need. We have Axle, we have uh, we have Ray Gun. Again, normally in speedruns with flying resets and glitch, we would actually just fly over this robot. I just gotta smack this guy with a crane a couple of times. Jump down here. Just barely able to reach that. See, I missed that time. <laughs> Alright. Now we have the loud gun. But you shoot this robot, you get lots of items from him, so... You can also slow Axel's descent by shooting in the air. So my strategy to go here is just to stand still for a few seconds and just let some, uh... Let him drop a few medals at a time. That was an accidental command dash. 
Uh, kill this guy. This guy's shots kind of get in the way. Uh, these little Roomba robots, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with. They can be kind of annoying when you're trying to grind. So I'm just kind of, just going to try and pass them as quick as I can. That's the end of the trip. Here I come. And so now here, we're going to have our first vile encounter. So we just have to hit him just a few times. And he's done. Now, vile always appears after the, after the uh, second boss you beat. Except I did Yeti third, and he didn't appear there. Well, Yeti, uh, well, he can't appear in Yeti stage, or Man of Wars for that matter. So if you do that, the uh, the encounter is kind of like delayed until you go to a place where he can spawn. Uh, we want a uh, vial there because the normal crystal wall puzzle that happens there takes a it takes way too long. Oh, man, that's another mess. I think he's done, actually? Yes. Warning. Warning. Alright, so fighting Trilobite is a lot like fighting Crystal Snail. You want to first knock his, uh, his shell off. Oops. Alright. Now he's at have one quarter health left, he will DM. And if I double attack him now, he is guaranteed to die. So that's exactly what I'll do. And we'll get another 100 metal out of the way, too. So let's see, killing bosses gives you 3,000 medals. So let's take a look exactly how much we actually built up with that little grind there. Eh, about about 6,000, that's a little bit on the low end, but that's kind of what you can expect to get there. So as I mentioned before... Nova Strike's damage depends on how much weapon energy X has. So we're going to buy all of his weapon upgrades now. That works twofold because the extra weapon energy will help us in Mana War stage. The 
best thing to do against in this in this trip is to just stay as close to Man of War as possible. And the extra boost meter does help with that. <laughs> and just relentlessly keep firing at him. That's a bit on the slow side right before this turn here, but it could be it could be worse. And that's all the stage is. This is actually a really quick stage when you do it normally. All right. Because this arena is so small, uh, back up a little bit before you Nova Strike him. <laughs> and see, that that, did, that left him with one damage. So now he's going to DM because the bosses will always DM you. And I heard you like Street Fighter. Yep, press up in special and Ultimate Armor has a built-in Shoryuken. Not as good as X2s, but it's cute. Okay, next up is Panda, and I'm actually going to make a safety save here. Because there is something that could happen in that stage that can go wrong. What do we want? We want normal X. And we want Axel again. Because we're actually going to use Axel's copy shot for once. Bamboo pandemonium. Ready. little trick with elevators. You run up the side of them with the right armor while they're rising. Uh, you kind of get pushed up with them. Now with the right armor, the right armor is really good in this game. There's an infinite ground dash, a hover, an air dash. And it can damage enemies by falling on them, as I'll show you here. Playing it a little safe with these guys. Because I do need to keep the right armor alive the whole way through the stage. Kill these bomb guys. Dash up here, and we'll get to the armor this way. Uh, get the armor upgrade this way. Uh, if your positioning's just right, you can actually uh, you can actually control the right armor while. Uh, I forget what I was saying. Play a little safe with that, with the right armor there. Oh damn! This is what I was afraid was happening, uh, was going to happen. But I might be able to save this actually. Yeah, I think I could. I think I can actually save this. Uh, maybe not. Now I don't think it's savable. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the title screen. Mega Man X8. Good thing I saved.
So what was supposed to happen there is one platform was supposed to be lower down than it ended up being. Ready. Apparently I just missed my shot because it was uh, off screen or something. I'll take that part even uh, safer this time. These guys out of the way. Jump on some robots again. Yeah, that one's definitely too far away to get the, uh, to get the thingy thing. To get the, uh, glitch text box. Another, like, little thing there is that you, you can, uh, when you first get into a ride armor, you can jump cancel the little startup you have. Like that. They can get me the air dash out of it. So here I'll just play this super duper save. Oh god, <laughs> I almost failed immediately. So we'll shoot that down now. That one's a little tricky. Use Charge Crystal Wall here to dig that one up. And then jump over to Robots number two. Now this would be a great place to fight Vile because the um because the right armor just decimates him. He just doesn't have any eye frames toward what the toward the toward the right armor's attacks for, for some reason. Uh it would be great if I could factor it into the route, but it's just not possible. I actually did get in my previous video, so I think I'll I think I'll actually highlight that just to show what that's normally what that's like. Take that damage on purpose just to kind of skip this. Normally, you're supposed to let the right armor go through this elevator by itself, and then meet it back at the pass, fall down this shaft, break the door, break the floor and then ride back up again. But we can just kind of skip that by taking the damage from the spikes. Take this very careful. We're gonna bring the right armor to the fight. I think the way to do this is to start off a dash attack. Oop. One HP, no problem.
Uh, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna go back and buy another Prickle Barrier, just in case. Nice triple A. I uh, might as well save again. We're gonna go to Gravity Antonian. Uh, again, we want normal X here. It won't take zero. The, um, <laughs> it's the high jump, actually, that's kind of screwing me up there. I'm really not used to, have, uh, to playing with high jump on this much. <laughs> this is a bit of, this is part of the root change, actually. I'll switch to zero here. Lots of monies here. I'm gonna go out and grab this 150. Ooh. That's an extra flip I didn't need to do. Alright. Same deal here. Just get a little dash jump over there and then use charge crystal wall to dig this baby up. Uh, zero might be better for this fight, actually, now. So, yeah, we're gonna get Vile here again. That kill? Yes, it did. Get these guys out of the way. Um... All right, guys, shoot me. Come on. That was close, actually. I almost got hit by the spikes, and this is not where I want to use my spike breaker. Ugh, I don't want to do this with... There we go. Nice health drop. That's what I was hoping for. I'll do this the old, the old way. I'll just... Alright, here, here we want to take damage from something. So grab that over the spikes. Oh god, I don't like this room flipped. <laughs> Uh, oh no wait, I can use that help. Uh, let's just, just cross this with X. I need some help on Zero. Actually, we do have to do this fight with Zero. Let's, let's be safe. Warning. Warning. Yeah, the double damage helps. <laughs> A lot.
piece of cake. All right, next up, we're gonna do another revisit. We're gonna get, we're gonna go back to Mantis and get the rest of the things there. And we want to be, uh, we could be Ultimate Armor X, actually. And we need Axel here, too. Normally you want, uh, Foot Parts H for this, but... But Ultimate Armor does actually have, uh, that effect on. We're gonna do this room with Axel. use black arrows to kill these guys as they come in. Not holding the button, but tapping it. Alright, now we're gonna copy this guy. Hey, wait, uh, play it safe on this flashlight. Transform, do a special attack to do a salute. Dig this guy up, and then match Thunder Dancer into here. Go back to collect that. Yeah, no strike through that guy, why the hell not? <laughs> then come up here to get the D-Glaive. So let's do another big shop trip. Uh, I think we got the second life tank. That'll be helpful. Uh, we want the K-Knuckle and the D-Glaive for zero. And we're also going to buy his Shock Absorber. And yeah, final, uh, final Maverick we got to fight. Uh, so we have to do two trips here as well, so I'm going to do this one as zero and X. Switch back to... Switch back to quick charge. Burn rooster. Ready. So yeah, three auto scrollers. Then we have to do one of them twice. In the original versions, there is a way to AFK this uh, this part with the flying resets and glitch, but nope. Now everyone has to play it out. What Zero Shock Absorber did was it uh, basically gave him uh, gave him hyper armor. He does not take any knockback from attacks now. Which is just a convenience right now. Yo! 
Oh no wait, I wanna I wanna stay a zero for this part actually. This climb is funky with the uh with the high jump on. Your turn. Leave it to me. I'm not used to it yet. I'm used to doing this without any flip parts. My original route I actually came here to this stage very early on to get a couple of things, but not actually fight Rooster. You were going to do a little glitch here. What I did there was, uh, with K-Knuckle, I did the... I did, uh, the version of Mana Wars attack. Holy crap. <laughs> and that actually has, like, a grab box on it. And so I was able to grab that thing from underneath. Turn around, please. I'm just looking for some goodies. <laughs> Normally, that uh, that rare metal I got, you're supposed to have uh, Antonian's weapons in the T-Breaker. Which, the T-Breaker is in this stage. So here I get to show off the other thing that the K-Knuckle is known for. It's very strong, though its range is zero. So that's what the extra health on zero is for. Because we gotta get up close to enemies to really hit them with this thing. Now we're actually at Rooster. Wow, two hits put him into uh, into angry mode. Two hits with the K knuckle with Black Zero. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> No one man should have all this power. Alright, I, uh, I need a heal just in case. But again, I got him way before I thought I normally would. <laughs> yeah, but the, uh, the jump attack with the K-Knuckle is kind of kind of icky. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Yeah, Zero has a Shoryuken too. That's, uh, that replaces his Hyoryu show when you have the K Knuckle on. You barely saw it there. Most of his moves are fighting game moves. Uh, Rasetsen becomes a, a Tatsumaki. Uh, what you get from Rooster becomes a proper dive kick.
So we just gotta do this climb. Which if you have zero makes this a lot easier. last few. <laughs> and yeah, keep in mind, uh, we got three violent counters there. So we only need one more. Uh, I'm gonna make another safety save. Let's go back to stage select. All eight bosses are done, so uh, the way to Jacob is open. But first, a little bit of cleanup. First, we're gonna go to Sunflower again. Got this one. Uh, again, uh, normal X, because we're gonna get the other get the other arm up right here. And now this stage is going to be really easy with the D-Glade. Uh, its long reach is just going to make everything a lot easier. And like I said this time, uh, we're going to get top... Uh, we're going to get uh, all top ranks in the stage this time. So here I'm going to kill things until, until the end. You need 90 to get top rank here. You can tell you can tell it's top rank when this when it's white. Obviously red now is below par. Then yellow will be par. Here we just hope this guy's in range, and with Black Zero, we're able to kill that immediately. <laughs> That's a little more involved fight normally. I nearly beefed on this guy before, but with D-Glave it's even easier because you have twice the reach. This room's also easier with the D-Glade. And here's the other... Go for it, the other part for X. You squeeze bomb to break this. And now we have the full Hermes armor, which I still have to kill something in X-Drive, but uh, I won't, I won't do... I'll save that for a little bit later. Let's switch. Here I come! First, we're gonna. I'm gonna take care of the trials first. you are unlucky enough, Vile can spawn in this room. And this is actually the only room where getting a Vile spawn actually costs time. Every other, pla every other place in the uh, other 
how many is it stages? Uh, it's always actually faster to fight Vile than the alternative. Some are just quicker than others. Like, you know, the ones that save the most time are in Antonian and Trilobite. Let's try and get a door switch here. Nope. Late that time. Alright, and as I said before, we got all, all high ranks, so... There's an extra portal here, and here's Cutman. Activate X Drive. And just kill him with Buster Shots. Let those bo uh, both those metals pop up. Yep, we're good. Uh, let's save again. I'll keep saving. It's something you should be doing anyway. Uh, where are we going next? We're going uh, back to Rooster, actually. Who should I take here? I'll take Zero. And I need to take Axel for this time. Ready. Yeah, we're doing this again. Uh, now would be a good time to quickly check your text messages, your DMs. See what stupid stuff's going on in the world today. But before you know it, we'll be back to some actual Mega Man. break these boxes just for a little bit extra money. Remember, we still need the big grind session coming up. So it's these little guys again. normally this floor here that you're supposed to break with the tea breaker so we're gonna go down here we're gonna get this copy robot oh you know what I still have my prickle barrier don't I so we're gonna have to do a little bit there we're gonna I'm gonna kill myself on the spikes just so I respawn at the back at the top of the room Now we copy the flyer, fly into this little hole here, and that's the tea breaker that we don't need anymore. So now I'm going to go back to Trilobite. Uh, I need X this time. And I guess I should put everything to red that I can. And we'll bring Axel again to farm. Ready. So we're gonna get body parts, uh, uh, body parts I this time.
And that'll be after we we smack this guy in the head a little bit. We're gonna fight him the same way. Ooh, I like that. Shoot him a little bit while he's running away. Uh, switch over to Melt Creeper. Now we have the full Icarus uh, armor. Which we just have to find an enemy to use this on. In the meantime... Axel makes a racket. Oh wait, there's actually one more thing we need to do here. Use charge crystal wall here to dig up uh, another item. I think that one, is, that one's kind of an important one. That's the metal generator that I dug up. Which gives you, uh, which gives you money for just walking. It's not a lot, though. Again, I'm gonna... I'm going to try and avoid the Roombas as much as possible. Generally, if I see a, uh, a metal in front of me is about to disappear, I try and, like, dash and grab it immediately. Now it's safe to quit out. So again, I'm going to safety save here. And we're going to do one last revisit. I'm going to go back to Noah's Park real quick. And keep this armor on for X. Let's do it. Same thing as before. Just for about 20 seconds. Alright, and this is where we need Head Park's Eye. Just to get that dude. But we're not done here yet. 
I'm gonna go over to the B room. And our friend Vile is here. Alright, he's not done yet. Just need one more sure you will kill him. Oh no, he's not dead yet? Wow. That'll definitely kill him. And that's Rival Revival. We've also 100% this, 100% of the stages. So with that done, we're gonna go, we're gonna get Jacob out of the way now. Jacob is an elevator, so it's essentially an auto-scroller. And dealing with all the enemies that come your way are simple. Just deglave and spin to win. If you're spinning as these uh, shield guys come into your uh, line of fire, they just kind of, you know, they get hit before they can shield up. Now, admittedly, I could have done the, um, I could have done my grind session before this, but, uh, you still get money for beating these stages, so that's just a little bit less we have to do. Probably at least, like, cuts out, like, one, one run-through of Trilobite that doing this and Gateway will do for me. But after that, buckle in, because it is going to be at least an hour of grinding. this is the final room? Shit, yeah, it definitely is. The four guys here, that's it. Get the K-Knuckle out. Now we're gonna we're gonna stomp on Vile one more time. I'm gonna wait through this. This is like the worst DM in the game. It's just because it's so drawn out. That and it's ripped off from uh, from uh, Contra Shattered Soldier.
Okay, now he'll die to assure you. Save again, why not? Let's go to Gateway. Got this one. Here we go. You know, why did I fight that boss with with zero? <laughs> I had ultimate armor. I for completely forgot. I had the ultimate armor. That's how I'm going to do these fights. Oh my god, the slope. Oh, I hate it when he does that. Yep, shoot him once to break his uh, break his armor, and then the residue will do the one damage that I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, let's go get Antonian out of the way. So yeah, with with Nova Strike, you're just gonna stomp on all these bosses. And with weapon energy, it's even quicker. One lemon <laughs> is all you need. Now we'll get the left side done and then and then finish the right. So Rooster's kind of annoying fighting like this, because he still has to make all these things move, and then he's just going to stop them immediately once he DMs. And he still has to stomp down like that. And Nova striking him was probably the right call there. He's perfect to show you can because he's in the air. <laughs> Shoot him immediately when he becomes vulnerable. 
Easy, easy, easy. Fall into Mana War. Again, be careful of how small the uh, small the arena is. You can also do this to ignore uh, his DM, basically. And he's also in the air, so sure you have. Why the hell not? Lastly is Panda. Now we're all later done, so we just gotta get out of here. Him. So Pink Sigma is down. We only have the final stage left, but we're not going to finish the game yet because we have some grinding to do. So... First off, I'm going to take a look here. I'm just going to buy the Metal Discount, which it takes 10% uh, off everything in the shop. And I'm going to buy the Metal Generator right now. Everything else I'm going to leave until I have enough for what I need. So save here, just to show we're going in to the grinding session with 125000 So I'm going to end this grind at 108,000. First, let's set up X the way I want him to. And take white action. Because 108,000 is how much you need to, uh, to buy the three navigators. That 50, why not? Why the hell not? Just let the guy come on up here. See, so yeah, we're going to be doing this a lot.
One way I like to think about it is uh, just don't do a full the full length dash with Axel. Just do about half of what his dash normally is. Now I'm going to be, like, a little more mindful of the Roombas. Because I really don't want to take damage from them too much. But now I'll hurry up and get past uh, this point. They won't bother me anymore. So the grinding video took uh, two hours, and I hope to cut that down a little bit. Because once I have enough to get the navigators, I'm just going to save, buy them, use them, and then uh, reload the save. And then continue the grind to buy everything else for the boys. So how do we do on that grind? 8,300, that's a pretty good grind. Uh, usually I average between six and 9,000 money per, uh, per trip through Trilobite. So 8,300 is actually a pretty good haul. I didn't even really use Metal Generator that first trip. So yeah. While I'm waiting here, I'm just going to walk up here, and then you can walk up, walk up against this switch and not get stopped. So you build a little bit that way. Actually, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm just going to walk up against this and just take the damage. This can get you a little bit more, a little bit more money. I would do it more if I had more health, but I'm just, I'm not going to spend anything else until I get uh, enough for the navigators. And you know, you tell, uh, you ask anyone else and they'll just tell you if you want to get money just... Uh, hold down your button for a while and just let the, just let the, um, either just walk into a wall forever or just shoot this robot from a stationary position. I mean, yeah, it'll get you the money and it's easier to do, but it's not as quick. This will save a bit of time. I actually did some number crunching on this. And proved that, and showed that this is the, um, the more time efficient way to do this. So it's going to be boring, but. But then again, every way is kind of boring.
87, even better that time. Keeps on going like that, we'll be done in no time. So this time I'm going to escalate it even more, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop running until, until I'm like near death. Which will be in a hit or two. Of course, with this grind, people always lament that the uh, infinite metal glitch does not work in this version. But people tend to fail to realize that that glitch only worked on the original US version of the game. Every other version after that, uh, Japanese PS2, European PS2, PC, has all, has all fixed that glitch. So it not being here should not come as a surprise to anyone. They're getting even better and better. I'm not sure if, I'm able, if I ever cracked 9,000 in a run, but... We sure get near it.
So yeah, same deal. Let's avoid a stupid hit this time. Yeah, metal generator makes you, uh, it generates 24 metals uh, per, uh, per every few steps you take. Actually, yeah, I could just let uh, X die, actually. <laughs> We're not going to use him again. I actually have a little idea to actually cut some of this out even more. What I'm going to do is after the, um, I actually did this on accident once in, uh, in the old video, but I think this actually could help a little bit. This could shave a little bit of time off. What I'm going to do after this robot leaves and I collect all the money I can from it, Go back here. I guess I might as well walk just to get a little more money. And die. So when I respawn, it'll put me back at the right side of the map. So this just means like uh, less trips to the uh, less trips to the main menu. And less times having to do the initial chase segment, which you know, you don't ma really make a lot of money there. It's only when you're doing the chasing is where the real cash comes in.
All right, one more life chip to go. Ready. How much does this get me? He's already landed over there. That's not worth it. I think I missed one. Yeah, 24,000 for basically three playthroughs. That seems to be about right. Ready. So two more sets of six should get us there. And then some, actually.
I didn't really hit him that much there. I was focusing on the little guys too much. Wow, two of them on my ass now. Actually, I could probably just take the hits from them now. I don't have to worry about them. Just let them push me forward and run away. Yeah, now they're like... Okay, now I'm in the safe spot. I kinda didn't want that help. I guess it doesn't matter. Oops! <laughs> okay. We lost a little bit of money there.
We're getting there, we're getting there. Actually, I forget which trip I'm on. Not sure if, if, if I use my retry trips or not already. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I probably lost out on at least like 1500 there. But this set of three should get us the thingy. Hey, we finally get a, uh... Get to see what an intermission looks like. We don't need to do that. I want to say intermissions appear based on how much time has passed in within the game. And even then, they don't seem very, uh... It didn't seem very consistent. There are actually some intermissions that are pretty good at making money. But, and I honestly don't know if they're any better than this. I, th I think likely no.
Get a hundred K. Oh, man. That's not good. <laughs> But we should be able to get it on this final trip. We should be able to get 108,000. Just 7,100 to get? We should be able to do that. I'm thinking, you know, I never brought it up, but I guess White Axel has the same nerf as Black Zero in that he does take uh, double damage. Because I feel like a hit like that, I normally would not have died from it. actually use my health. Get off my back. Two thousand to go. Yeah. 
Uh, it's going to be close. We got it. All right. I made even less that time. I guess that's because of the death. So we're going to save here. This is important. We have oh, we have 108,000, which is exactly enough for uh, for the navigators. So we're gonna go over to them. That's enough for them with the metal discount. Keep in mind. So we buy all three of them. And now we're gonna go to a stage. And you only have to pick one of them, oddly enough. Watch this. It says you have to use all three, but in fact... You just have to buy all three and then use at least one of them. So now that I've got that, I'm gonna go back to the title screen. And reload the file. Uh, I'm actually gonna buy some things to help the... To help the grind along a bit. First, I'm going to buy more retry chips. Uh, the prickle barrier we don't really need. Uh, nothing really there. So, for now, I'm going to buy... All the life ups for X. As well as this double barrier, why not? Uh, none of that is useful. So now, buy stuff for Axel. All his life ups. His double barrier. Shock absorber. And shield armor. So I think all these things will just help help us get a little more out of our grind. Ready. I probably even went overkill a bit. In fact, once I finish this, uh, once I get rid of the robot once, I'm actually going to go back and see what I can buy.
So now with all these upgrades, I can pretty much ignore the Roombas. I mean, I guess they do a lot of damage because I'm White Axle, but... <laughs> Still. It just lets me concentrate on shooting more. So yeah, let's go back to the shop right now. Wow, 8931. That was really good. <laughs> so let's just buy a lot of the things we can already. Particularly the, um... The less expensive stuff? Yeah, so X is done, so let's finish up Axel as well. Alright, now there's things for Zero. Let's get his D barrier, that's the most expensive thing on the list. think we can get anything else. Although we can get a spike walker. So let's count here. 450. 13,950. 16,650. Seventeen five fifty, eighteen four fifty, and then that. So you need well over forty five hundred. So this is going to be a couple of trips. Well, actually, with the um, Here I come. might be able to cut a little bit more into it than we thought. Ready. Because I still have all those extra retry chips. So we're going to cut this down even more.
What am I doing shooting these guys? I don't need to do that anymore. Again, pretty good haul on that.
No, move forward. I took a lot of damage from those guys. I can get enough with just this set. I think I'll be short. So we need something like 4,500. We need 45,000. Actually, we might be really close to what we need. Once this is all said and done.
Yeah, once this is done, we should actually be really close to how much we need. It's all gonna depend on a bit of randomness. Yeah, I think we're good. The only thing we didn't know the price of was Saber, Saber Plus 2, but... I think I accounted for most of that. Let's see what we can do with this. First, let's get the Sigma Blade out of the way. That's the big daddy. Alright, so we do need just a little bit more. 13,500, so about... So 2,660 is all we need. We could probably get that no problem. Yeah, we'll barely have to fight the robot at all at this rate. Yeah, we only need... 1500 from him, that'll, that'll be easy. Ooh, 
Although I do have to buy another Prickle Barrier, so I'll go a little bit over. Rather, I want to buy another Prickle Barrier, just in case. I mean, they don't call it the Spike Palace for nothing. Once I get, uh, 14, 500, should be enough. Should be right, right there, okay. And that's it with grinding! Yeah, I took more than I needed to. Alright, so... Save again, just for all that. Now let's beat the game. Got this one. Here we go. Now obviously, we're going to use the Dream Team. Ready. Hey, now that we have the Sigma Blade, we can finally use it. Yeah. 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 Oops. Nice one frame pause. Yeah, we don't have to worry about killing things now, so we'll just... We'll just take damage through everything. This is gonna be a bunch of health pickups along the way. Oop, that's scary. <laughs> Let's go fight Ultron Sigma. I can't take credit for that joke. That's Sukimos that does that. Another X8 speedrunner. No, but this guy's name is actually Belial Sigma. You know, there's a lot of biblical references going on in this game. Sloppy. <laughs> Very sloppy. What I should have done is I should have just stayed with Zero until he was in angry mode. And then use X for the rest. I'm gonna do the same here, actually. He actually stuck around for a while there. Alright, like the rest, Seraphim Lane is going to go down real quick to Nova Strikes.
Then we'll use zero for the end. Because Sigma Blade breaks breaks shields. And we gotta break uh, at least three shields right here for Luminae. That is the end of the game. You can skip the credits in this game, thankfully. This epilogue's gonna go by real quick. So yeah, obviously there were a couple of resets in there, so the, so the game time wasn't really 2.36. It's off a little bit, but the game timer's actually pretty accurate, so... You know, I've spent two hours, 46 minutes on this. You know, just subtract a little bit from that and pretty much got it. And your reward for beating the game is uh, Capcom. the Capcom logo, logo changes to the girls. And also at some point, uh, Zero replaces X on the title screen. Well, the voice anyway. So yeah, unlock the wallpaper. Um, yeah, that means I didn't unlock the secret track, right? Just want to check that real quick. I didn't actually unlock that. No, I didn't. Okay, so you do have to beat X Challenge in order to, to unlock the secret track. So, uh, what, but for right now, let's just show that proof call. Yes, we did collect all 11 of the Hunter Medals in X8. We beat the game on normal or higher. We killed something with a Nova Strike. We killed something with X-Drive. It was Cutman, in fact. We killed something with a Giga Crush. We beat Cutman. We used the Navigators in battle, just earlier. We upgrade X-Zero and Axel to 100%. We beat Vile four times before Gateway. Defeat an enemy using the Sigma Blade. Form a double attack as Black Zero and White Axle, and defeat Seraph Lumine. We did it. Obviously, in my old video, I I, had, I unlocked this as well at this point, but you know this this one speaks for itself. I'm gonna leave the old video up just for complete uh, for completeness' sake, so you can actually see all that stuff go down. But this this video should have been your uh, primary. This would be the one I would recommend people do when they want to complete the, uh, when they want to complete this. So yeah, uh, that's it. We're we're done with X8 again, and in less time too. Remember, my uh, my grinding video alone took two and a half hours, but we we definitely cleaned up this playthrough quite a bit. And because uh, it was nagging at me for a while, but I feel a lot better now. So I'm gonna go over and do some do some other little extra stuff over here, but uh, you know, for the YouTube, for those watching on YouTube, this will be it's this will be its own video, of course. So if you've seen this, uh, if, so you're watching this on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helps you a lot. You know, especially for those having problem with the vile counters. If you follow the route I took t exactly, you will get uh, you will get enough vile encounters. 
it's all about the root. That's that's the bottom line of it. And it'll show you how to get everything else. And you know, if you want to use my form of grinding, or if you just want to, you know, hold the button down, you know, you do you. And if you if you're interested, and don't forget, there's a whole playlist I have of all eight games and X Challenge, one and two, so you can see all that stuff going on. Um, and if you're a big fan of X8, I'm going to be speedrunning the game quite a bit right now. Uh, submissions for Awesome Games Done Quick are coming up real soon, and I want to be uh, ready for submissions for that. I will be submitting. I will. I plan on submitting any percent and hundred percent. Not sure what else beyond that. So uh, until uh, until then, guys, uh, follow me on. All my, all my social media places. Obviously, my YouTube is Satoru. My Twitch is Satoru GDQ. And my my Twitter is also Satoru GDQ. I always tweet when I go live. And I have other things to say once in a while. So if you like what I'm doing, just, you know, you know just follow, follow me and all that stuff. It, you know, if you want to. But until then, uh, there's really not much else to do in the Hunter Metal series. I am gonna do, I'm gonna like do a little bit of um, do some updates on co a couple individual things, as you might see a little bit later. But but for now, uh, I'm Satoru, and good night. And cut.